Welcome back to the channel, everybody. I'm Ham Radio Dude. Thanks for checking out the channel. If you haven't been here before, I make Ham Radio related videos, and recently I purchased the Yaesu FTDX10. And along my way of learning this radio, I'm going to document as much as I can. Today will be a short episode where I'm just going to show you how to program frequencies into the memory and how to call them and a couple other features. And the reason I'm doing this is I ran into an issue. With other radios, if I was to change from 20 meter sideband to 40 meter sideband, the radio would automatically detect which mode I need to be on, whether it's upper sideband or lower sideband and so forth. This radio doesn't appear to do that. And so me setting the memory channels or setting frequencies into the memory is one way I found to get around that because off of that, you could work on memory tune. I'll show all that to you right now. This is Ham Radio Dude. While I'm editing this video, I recognize that I should probably show you guys the nomenclature or just some of the nomenclature of the front panel. And if I don't show you the nomenclature of the front panel and the buttons, you might get a little confused. So some of the buttons that we're going to use on the front panel today involve the function knob, which you could see in the upper left. The function knob you could either press in or you could turn. We're also going to be using the M button, which is to the right of the function knob, and it stands for memory. When we tap that button, we could see things like our memory channels that we already have programmed in here. The V slash M button, which switches this radio between VFO mode and memory mode. We're also going to be using the step slash MCH button, which is to the left of our main knob. And at one point, we're going to hold it in for about a second. Other things that we are going to use or we could use is the mode button, which is to the right of the big knob. And then finally, there's two different dials on the big knob. There's the one in the front and then there's the one in the back known as the MPVD knob. We're going to be using that MPVD knob and the front knob as well. Here you'll see I'm on 7.030, which under the VFO shows it's a cw u and if I was to QSY here to 14.285, this is where I would expect automatically the VFO to change to at least upper sideband. Uh, however, it doesn't. It stays at CWU. And it's unfortunate because, like I said, other radios seem to do this. Or not all radios, but some radios do. So what I have to do is I have to hit the mode button or hit the VFO and change it to upper sideband. And then I need to adjust my dial knob to 14.285 kind of becomes a little bit of a pain. You'll see here I QSY or I change the dial to the frequency that I want to program into the memory, in this case 14.285, and I've ensured that I'm in upper sideband mode. And also I should mention that any of the filters you have on enabled on the front panel, such as the noise blanker or the digital noise reduction, if you enable those and you set those, when you save these into memory, they will transfer over into your memory channel. So that's a really nice feature to have instead of every time saying, did I enable DNR? Uh, I'm in CW mode. Did I disable DNR and so forth? It's already going to be taken care of, which is pretty nice. So as you'll see, I tap on the M button once and there's already something in memory channel one. Now, this was a frequency that I mistakenly programmed in this radio on beknownst to me. So I'm going to overwrite it and I'm just going to go ahead and tap the M button on the front panel of the radio again, which will bring me back to the main menu. And then I'm going to hold down the M button and it will automatically program the frequency I'm on into memory channel one. As you'll see, the list automatically pops up and it shows me memory channel one. I can go ahead at this point and I can tap on name and I can program whatever name I choose to in this memory channel so I could remember. For example, I wrote TST NT20, which for me is test net 20, and then I hit enter. And I should mention after I hit enter, I'm gonna get to the menu list or the memory channel list. I could use the function knob and I can scroll through those memory channels, or I could tap the function knob and I'll get back to the main menu as you see here. Now I'm just typing in another frequency that I'm gonna put into memory channel two because things are gonna be a little bit different. I should mention, that if you change anything in the function menu, like the RF power, it's not going to save into memory. So you can't say memory channel two has 30 watts of power. Anyway, here I am on 7.190. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to tap the memory button. And when I tap the memory button, I get into this screen. 
Now I'm going to change my knob and go to M02, and I'm going to hold down memory. And as you'll see here, I'm just going to hit name, and I'm going to make whatever name I choose for this frequency. In my case, I wrote 7.190 just as an example. Uh, but I'll go ahead, and once I'm done, I'll hit enter. And it's bringing me back to this screen. I just want to point out the mode. On any of these, if I'm selected in orange on that memory channel, I could change the mode by hitting mode and then using my function knob to change whatever mode it was. So if I made that mistake where 7.190, it's not, but it was supposed to be CW, I could easily change it right here. And a couple more useful things is you could hit display type here on each of the memory channels, and you could choose between it displaying your name or the frequency when doing things like scanning or just browsing through the memory channel list. Another thing you can do, which I'm going to show you here in a minute, is you could hit scan memory and you could either choose to skip those memory channels from being scanned or put them in the scan list, if you'll, if you'll call it that. You could erase memory channels. For example, I'm going to go to M02 here and hit erase and it's gone. If you made the mistake of erasing one of the memory channels, you could hit restore and it'll bring the frequency back into that memory channel. In this case, I just held down the M button on the memory channel 02 to program this frequency again. And I discussed earlier that, you know, you could sit here and you could hit the function and try to adjust the RF power and it's not going to save those settings. However, something I don't show in the video that I do want to mention is I could adjust my width and this will come in handy for CW, which I didn't do here. But when I type in a CW, I don't want a 4000 hertz width. So maybe I'll bring it down to 50 Hertz. And before I program it, if I change that width on the radio to 50 Hertz, or if I change the IPO or the roofing filter or the automatic gain control, those things, once I save memory channel three would actually save into memory channel three. So that's very useful, especially jumping from sideband where I'm going to use more width into CW where I'm going to use way, way less width. Now, one of the cool things is, is you could have up to 100 memory channels programmed into here with different modes and everything. And that actually does become useful, as you'll see in just a little bit. Uh, but what I'm going to do is, you can see I'm in VFOA mode right now, and that's on lower sideband. I could easily tap on my memory channel list, and I can go to M02 and then hit the function button, and it'll bring me to M02. Alternatively, you could hit the V slash M button on the front of the radio VFO or memory mode, and you could jump in between memory mode and VFO. The cool thing is, is if you're in memory mode and you use your knob, you could change and adjust the frequencies, but this is where it's really cool. Instead of just changing the frequencies and losing all your settings, it remembers some of those critical frequencies or information that you put into the radio, such as, do I have digital noise reduction on? Is my width 4,000 or 2,400? This feature is called memory tune. Now you're going to know you're in memory tune if you're looking at your main screen and where it shows your mode next to your frequency. Normally it'll say M02 or VFO. It says MT. Again, MT stands for memory tune. What you could do though, is if you're tuning and you don't want to be on that frequency anymore, maybe you want to just go back to your memory channel too. All you have to do is hit the V slash M button from the main screen and it'll bring you back to that memory channel. If you're watching this video in the U S you'll know that the 60 meter band is usually set up in channels and you could access the channels for the 60 meter band in these memory modes, as I show you right here. And now you're probably wondering what happens if I want to go to channel 75, do I have to sit here and scroll through 75 channels? And the answer is no, this is where memory groups come into handy. And let me show you how memory groups work right now. With memory groups, you have to actually enable memory groups before you could properly use them. So what you're going to want to do from your main menu is you're going to want to go ahead and tap in the function button. And when you tap in the function button, you get to your function menu. On the bottom of the screen here, you're going to see operation setting. And when you click that, make sure you're under the general tab and you want to scroll until you find memory group. Quite simply, if you tap memory group and you use one of the arrows, you can turn memory group on or off. We're going to turn it on and then click back and click back again. And we should be back at the main menu. 
And one thing I did forget is if you hit function right now, we'll get back into the function menu. You're going to want to actually tap on M group on the upper right hand side. Now you can see on my main menu, M group is selected. And now for demonstration purposes, you're going to see that I added a couple of memory channels around 20 and 21, 28.400 and 405, both upper sideband. And basically now, if I were to go back to the main menu, I could hold down the step slash MCH button and it'll beep and start flashing. While it's flashing, I could do one of two things. I could move the function button, which will allow me to jump between my different memory groups. For example, memory group one, memory group two, and so forth. And then if I found a memory group I like, like for example, group two, which starts at memory channel 20, I could use not the VFO knob, but the knob behind it, which is known as the MPVD ring. I could use that to move or adjust my memory channels within that group. These are just some ways that I'm using memory mode to circumvent the fact that there's no way that I could tell to set automatic mode adjustment in this radio. So hopefully this does help somebody and hopefully somebody now understands the memory feature just a little bit more. Uh, if you did find this useful, please consider subscribing to my channel. It really does help me in the YouTube algorithm. Until next time, I'm Ham Radio Dude 73.